100 megabits per second. Yes, it's fast. But is it fast enough? I mean, modern modems are capable of handling speeds of several gigabits per second, and many of our connections are going up to and even beyond a gigabit per second. So does 100 megabits cut it anymore? Well, here on this channel, we're going to be digging into the world of ISPs or internet service providers in the coming weeks. And so getting the basics of internet speeds is a pretty good place to start. So I hope you enjoy this video. Make sure you're subscribed so that you can follow along as we journey through the magical world of, yeah, just kidding there, ISPs. Let's dive in. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check the description below for a link to the giveaway we're doing right now. We're doing those pretty much all the time nowadays. But to answer the original question, is 100 megabits per second fast? Well, yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, look, I know there's a lot of 90s nostalgia in the air at the moment, but I think we can all be glad we're not still dealing with the dial-up modems of yore flexing their 56K muscles. Nowadays, the average web page is approaching 2 megabytes worth of data, which would take that 56K modem about 10 minutes to download. As a comparison, if you're on a 100 megabit connection and we round down a little bit, it will take approximately 0 seconds to load that page. Quite a change. But is that 100 megabits per second really necessary? I mean, let's take that same page. Let's say you're getting 10 megabits per second. That's still considered high-speed internet, and with that speed, it would still take only about a second to load that page. So what's the big deal? Why pay for ultra-fast internet when pretty fast turns out to be pretty good? Well, because now we're not just dealing with web pages anymore. There are a few things eating up internet traffic these days, like gaming, e-commerce, social media, but the real watchword these days is streaming. Netflix, Hulu, Sling TV, YouTube, por sorry, adult-oriented videos, these files are absolutely massive, and they account for a staggering amount of the internet traffic out there. They all deal with lots of data, but consider this, Netflix and YouTube, just those two, they account for more than a quarter of all web traffic worldwide. Whew. And you know what? Even with those massive HD video files, that 10 megabit per second connection could handle it. Netflix recommends 5 megabits per second to watch HD shows and movies. So, should you call up your ISP and tell them to downgrade you? Not so fast. Because that Netflix stream isn't the only thing running off that Wi-Fi router. You've got phones, you've got laptops, security systems, video doorbells, smart light bulbs, Lord only knows what else we all have connected to our Wi-Fi. And then you multiply that by how many people are in the home, and each with their own devices. Yeah, it all adds up. But how much does it add up? Well, let's say you've got two simultaneous HD Netflix streams going. Somebody's playing an online game. Somebody's scrolling through Instagram. Maybe a few security cameras around the house. Maybe a smart fridge. Whatever. I mean, it adds up, but not that much, right? So why bother with 100 megabits per second, or a gigabit connection for that matter? Well, for one thing, by definition, your average usage won't be your max usage. So you throw a 4K stream into the mix and things change immediately. Plus, there's the delightful problem of congestion, especially on cable connections. During high traffic times when everyone around you is also streaming and browsing and playing and whatever else, things can slow down considerably. That's why ads for internet plans always say up to whatever speed they're advertising. There's just no way you'll always get those speeds. So if you're averaging 10 or 20 megabits per second of usage, is it crazy to go for a plan that offers 100? Well, absolutely not. You can make it work with, say, 25 or 50. You simply run a higher risk of sometimes seeing a buffer wheel or a low-res picture. But at 100 megabits per second or more, you're way less likely to ever have to worry about those problems. So. Is it fast? Yes, even by today's standards, 100 megabits per second is fast, very fast even. Is it a necessity? Probably not. But is it nice to have? It really, really is. All right, you know the drill. Like this video if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you want even more detailed info on internet speeds and how you can get the best for you, go check out reviews.org.